Hey guys, uh, so if you've been following me on Twitter, you all realise that I've been counting down for the last week um, to Mental Health Awareness Week, and it's finally here, finally. Um, and I'm going to be talking about different sorts of things. If you followed my recent videos, not like my last video, but like fairly recent, is you'll know roughly what I'm going to be talking about. And today I'm going to be talking about like what I'm going to be doing in Mental Health Awareness Week this week. Um, so there's a hashtag that is being used, or well, there's two, but um, is hashtag MHAW15. Um, so I'll put it about here. And um, there's another one which isn't really being pushed as hard, but I'll still push it anyway. Um, is hashtag be mindful, which will go here. And um, so, yeah, like my goal for Mental Health Awareness Week 2015 um, is like to reduce the stigma and just generally make people more aware. Like, as the name says, awareness about mental health in this week. Um, in 2015, and I, I actually found out about it recently, um, literally about three, four weeks ago, um, but as soon as I did find out about it, it was like, I've got to jump on board with that, I love that idea. Um, so, the guys that are setting it up are called um, Mental Health Foundation, and um, so, what, because this is actually the 15th year, that it's happened and um, it's progressed obviously since it started in 2000 um, but like the, the theme that they chose for this year's Mental Health Awareness Week is mindfulness um, and like what does mindfulness mean like what is mindfulness and um, I'd found something online because uh, as I'll probably say this a few times throughout the week, is I'm not a professional about mental health. I don't claim to be, um, and, and I'm not. But I think that people need, like, we need more of them. Um, so as, like, I've done research and stuff, and I, I hope that it... I don't want it to be, like... I don't know if it's the same for you, like you guys, but... You probably know people like this, where at school you had the teachers that sort of just talked to you for the whole lesson, and then like made you do a task or something. Is I'm not just going to completely talk to you because then I'll, I'll lose people. Um, I won't be able to follow, so I'll sort of like try and like break it down into like different sections. And the different days going to be about a different topic, um, and there'll be sort of like little subtopics within those. Um, as you're, you'll find that what I mean really as of tomorrow but um, so I found a website and I'll link all my sources down below but I'll say it anyway is mindfulnet.org um, and I found on there where it said about the ABC of mindfulness the A is for awareness to become more aware of what we're thinking and what we're doing in our minds, um, like what actually is going on in our minds and recognising what is happening. The, the B is for being, like just being here. Um, and that sort of comes from the phrase of like, live and don't just be, sort of like enjoy life. Don't just like go on autopilot. It's like, yeah, I'm here, but I'm sort of not here. It's there. You're just sort of like being, but you're not living. Um, and I'd want to try and improve that and stop people from doing that. People to actually enjoy life because that's what we we're ultimately created for to enjoy life. Um, otherwise, where would we have it? And the C is for seeing different things and responding in a smarter way for it because we're now more aware of that. So we can now think 
like I because I'm aware of this is how does that affect it? How can I react in a smarter or in a, in a wiser way? Um, creating a gap between the experience and how we react to that experience. Um, and so that's pretty much it for today. But as I say, this is just the first day. Um, tomorrow will be about a different topic. Um, but yeah, the theme is mindfulness. So go check them out. Mental Health Foundation. Um, I'll put like their social media, like the website, their Twitter, and their, like their Facebook and stuff. And um, what I'll probably do is I'll put a bunch of other like mental health YouTubers down in the description as well because like I'm not a professional and some of them are professionals but they've got like better stories they can like educate you more on it um so yeah that was today check back tomorrow where I'll be talking about like depression and the different sub forms of depression um which is probably where I'll get a bit more personal but I won't get too personal with it um so yeah check back tomorrow peace have a nice day. I hope you enjoy Mental Health Awareness Week. Bye.